Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Layer. This is our weekly podcast. We are a youth ministry based out of Everett, Washington called True Life. I'm Caleb. I'm your guys' host. We do a whole lot of stuff on this YouTube channel, but this is one of them. It's called The Layer, where we sit down, we tell stories, we talk about some things, and all around, we try to have a good time. And so today, I got some guests, a couple returners with us today. We got Sean. We got Kennedy and we got Jeremy with us for the episode. Welcome to the layer, you guys. Glad to be back. So every single week on the layer, we like to do a lot of things here. But the first thing we want to do is just have some fun. Talk about our weeks. Share some stories. Maybe you'll laugh. Maybe you'll relate. Whatever it may be. But you guys, who had something fun happen this week? Who had something go down? Um, I've had a couple of fun times. Me and my girlfriend, Christy, have actually been uh, trying to get better at tennis. And I actually bought her a, her own tennis racket for her birthday. And uh, we go out to the court sometimes, and it is a little rough, you could say. <laughs> just, just starting out, you know, we got to... We got to get pretty much everything down, like the swinging and the serves and the, you know, everything that goes along with it. But uh, it's been fun. I've been enjoying the weather. It's uh, from since getting back from Phoenix, it's actually been pretty nice weather, which I've been surprised by. You brought so the sun with you. I did. I, you. Uh, yeah, thank I guess you. everyone has to thank me for that because, man, it, it's been nice. So that is that is what me and her are doing currently. Nice, nice. nice. More fun things. Well, I'll jump into it, I guess, <laughs> next. Uh, a hobby I have, and if you guys, if you know me, then you probably know this, but I love board games. And uh, a game, a favorite of mine is Settlers of Catan. I'm sure a lot of you guys know oh, what yeah. it is. A lot of people play it. It's a very popular game. But um, recently, I, I, I got to play it with a couple of my friends back home here. Uh, uh, one being Trevin. Trevin's a fellow leader here that you guys all know as well. And Trevin, comment on this video if you watched it. That's right. This is a test. But... <laughs> I will say I did beat him two times in a row, so I am the I am the unofficial official Catan champion of the Life Leaders. Let I'll it let it that. just be noted that I was not there for that. I was it too busy, He's too scared to show up playing tennis with Christy. So uh, yeah, got some Catan drama. I when so. I was younger, my family would play that game like every week, and I have I've won the game once, and it wasn't with my own family. But I remember one time I packed a bag and said I was going I was moving out because I was so mad I lost the game. That's that honestly understandable. School. Like I don't I don't blame you for that. Yeah, yeah our family rough. is super competitive. Like our parents are obviously me, Sean, and well sometimes Aaron. But it's a uh, it's kind of like a it's tradition. Rough. It just makes it us. better. Yeah. Wow, it's fun. You see, me and Sierra cannot play Catan. Because we get very mad at yeah, each other. That is my yeah, brother and true. his yeah. wife. Yeah, so like we had one time we were playing the game. And, you know, there's times in games where you almost make like a mini truce where you're like, okay, we're kind of helping each other through yeah. this. So we're playing, and there was a day I was like, hey, we're going to be good. We're not going to have any issues. I'll stay calm, all this stuff. So we're playing, and it's kind of like we're helping each other a little bit. We're figuring it out. And then I'm at the spot where I'm like, okay, I just I need this one piece, and then I'll be able to do this. I wasn't going to win. It was just going to help me make a move yeah. so another person could not beat me. And she's like, well, no. <laughs> and I'm like, I've given you so much, but you won't give me one thing. I got so mad. It was really bad. Yeah. We now do not play that game together, as well as me and Jordan Magruder Salem. cannot play yes, Salem. I remember that. I feel like Jordan can't play Salem with anyone. Without That's getting just him in general. Set. And Trevin, Trevin, comment if you remember this part too. <laughs> the second comment of the video. We had, we had a game of Salem at a leader retreat where me and Jordan had yelled at each other a lot. Lexi literally looked at us and said, "Get up and leave the table." That, yeah. But then. Me and Trevin were two of the last people left, and I'm like, Trevin, you got to trust me. He didn't trust me, and I got up. He voted me out. He killed me, and I got up, went, got a drink. I sat down. This is the most extra thing I've ever done in the game. I opened it in his ear and then sipped on it and said, I'm about to watch you lose this game for everyone, <laughs> and just like, Next I was so mad. Team. I was so heated. I'm too competitive in those situations, but now that we know... Thanks, Trevin. That yeah, I make a fool of myself. 
when it comes to these games. Um, let's take a second to have some conversation. We want to talk about something today. Every week we go in depth on something and we preview something. We look ahead to something. We want to do both together today because all four of us, while we were growing up and when we were in high school, that sort of a thing, we took time to partake and participate in some extracurricular activities. And one of the things I think that can end up happening for us is while we're growing up, we'll start caring about sports, we'll start caring about productions, um, musicals, we'll start caring about instruments and bands, things like that, which are good things, but we start to then try to figure out what is the balance between my extracurricular things and my faith and staying committed to my faith community, to my youth group, to my church, that sort of a thing. And it really is a, a dynamic that we need to figure out and we need to be able to process well. And so, really quick, let's just talk through what were some things, one, that you guys did for extracurriculars, but then also what were some things you did that helped you to be able to stay strong and solidified in your faith while still trying to do well in the things you had committed to? Yeah, well, I'll start us off. I... In middle school, did cross country uh, for the last, for my seventh and eighth grade year. Yeah, go cross country. I didn't do it in high school because I was too weak or something. I don't know. <laughs> you got to be, you got to be crazy if you're doing cross country. In no, you were actually talented at another sport. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> I then, in high school, played four years of soccer, which that has always been my sport growing up, even before uh, middle school and stuff. So I always knew I wanted to do soccer, and that was like, my biggest passion, like, I mean, it still is a passion of mine, but, like, that was when it was, like, at my peak, like, yes, I love soccer with every, like, bit of myself, and I remember uh, in high school having, when soccer season came around, there'd always, we'd always either have a game or practice after school, and this would, they'd start, like, maybe an hour after school, so it'd go even later into the day, and, uh, I remember it being a problem, or not a problem, I'd say, but, you know, just a situation where I'm thinking about true life, and uh, I was very, like, committed and a part, like, a part of true life, and I knew for a fact I didn't want to miss that, but then it also is uh, contradicting me playing with soccer just, just on Wednesdays, and I remember making sure that, because knowing that I wouldn't have a whole lot of time on Wednesdays, I'd make sure to be doing all my homework for Wednesday, uh, let's say on Tuesday or Monday, like get it done a little bit beforehand so I wouldn't have to worry about it. And also, I'd say making True Life a priority, even over um, some of the times that we've had practice or anything to get to True Life on time uh, was a very good, impactful thing for me. I remember showing up to True Life sometimes being all sweaty from practice in my soccer uniform with my soccer socks on and like slides on I guess and I mean kids wear slides now just as a fashion statement and stuff like my little brother does that but that wasn't really I don't I don't remember really remember people doing that when I was in high school which wasn't too long ago but anyways uh, I remember showing up to true life and it's still just having such an amazing impact on my life I wanted to make sure to be here and uh, yeah it was it was good that's good how about you guys? What were some of the things you guys did? What was the benefits of them? What did they do for you? And then how did you guys still prioritize church, faith, that thing? <laughs> well, I'll go because I am not the sporty type. I did gymnastics for like eight years of my life. But once I hit high school, I it was just kind of too much for me. Like I just really fell in love with band in middle school. So I was a little band geek. I still am a band geek. I'm not going to lie. Um, I played trumpet. So throughout middle school and high school, I was always involved. My entire high school career, except for my freshman year, I was on band council. So I basically was like, it was the student leadership of just band because we needed our own little leadership team the there. Council. But it just really, band just kind of, it's a whole nother level. Like there's just, we all know there's like the, the weird band kids and then there's also the like, I, I want to say I was in the normal band kid side of things, but we all know I probably wasn't. Um, but it really just helped me learn, like, obviously now my job today is I'm the creative arts director, so I'm still doing music for my actual career, but, um, we had, I was also in marching band, and we would have practices, it was Tuesday, Thursday nights, and every once in a while, um, it never really, like, conflicted with true life, but I did do, um, it was called pit orchestra, so my school would do musicals every year, and I 
they picked like five or six musicians to be in the pit orchestra because it needed to be really small. Um, and for some reason they chose me. I don't, really don't know why, but so on, <laughs> it was Wednesday nights, most of the time was our practices. And I just made it a priority to, instead of, so my, my teachers, I'll let, let know that like, hey, I, I'm involved in this youth group, but um, most of the time I would just come to True Life and I would bring my music with me. Um, and I would just, uh, my, my teacher knew like I would be practicing it at home, even though I really, I probably wasn't, but um, <laughs> I still made it um, just a huge part to show up to True Life, and I really, I don't regret any of the decisions I made, and there were a couple times where, like, I knew I needed to be at these practices, and so it was, like, every other week or every two weeks, I would miss a True Life and go to practices, but I made sure that it wasn't a weekly, totally a weekly sure. thing to miss, and I was still here on Sundays, too, so it was fun. Yeah. No regrets. Yeah. I don't know if this is wrong or not, but I think I remember, like, seeing you, like, up here in the attic or something with your instruments yeah, and you'd play them and you would, mm -hmm. you know, you'd have your music sheets and yeah, I don't I really know a lot I about I was music, the kid that was at church early on Wednesdays. Um, and so a lot of times, like if I were coming straight from school, I would just bring my, my trumpet with me and I'd find somewhere in the church to just sit and practice until it was usually until worship practice started and I would switch from trumpet to piano and call it good. Nice. Nice. Jeremy, how about you? Uh, yeah, so similar to Sean, I did cross-country middle school, soccer in high school. You guys know the drill. Uh, but I will say that choosing to get involved in my high school sport was one of the best decisions I made in high school. Because I, I, and I recommend doing this for anyone that is in high school, going into high school or middle school. Uh, it's, it's just the best way to get involved, best way to meet new people and uh, make new friends. So I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, but I had a great time. I uh, soccer, like Sean, is like it's just like what I love. It's what I I used to do just all the time. I'm even wearing my soccer jersey right now. So go Liverpool. But um, anyway, it it was just the best decision for me and a way that that allowed me to grow as well as just as a person with um and just like you know just socially and all that type of stuff. But um, but yeah, I also love True Life, and that's where the conflict came into play, and uh. I, I recognize that that my relationship with Jesus is is everlasting compared to what my uh, my soccer team might be. And even though I, I love soccer so much, I did make it a priority to be in true life. I loved it here. It's where I met all my friends that I still have to this day. All the relationships I have with the people around me are the are the same ones I made back in true life all those years ago. And uh, so, yeah. Just, I recommend just finding that balance because although the extracurriculars are so important and I would not recommend doing them enough, Drew Life is also that way as well. Totally. Are you still friends with everyone from your soccer team in high school? No. <laughs> not because they, I have bad oh, blood, no. but I just don't see them. <laughs> well, also, let no. me just challenge you guys. You asking your coach for, let's say, uh, to leave practice an hour early so you can make it to a church event once a week is not something that's gonna like make them want to kick you off the team yeah. or make yeah. really make you any worse like that's such a small amount and i'd say that making like time to come to true life is something it's like an investment into yourself and it's something that's definitely worth it yeah. totally well and even just like i like the way you word that it's just asking the question yeah. You're asking your coach, hey, is this something that would be possible? Is this something that would be okay? You know, it might be something that they maybe would say, well, every single week. And maybe then you're just going to say, can I do it every other week? And you just say, this is something that's important to me. This is something that's important to myself. If your family is also plugged into church, something that's important for our family. And just, like, saying one of those things where it's like, hey, like, I am bought into this team, this sport, this instrument, this band, this opportunity. I am bought into it. But I also have to, have to recognize outside of these you know, 12 weeks a year, I'm bought into something else too. And that's all the time. And so that's something that's good to do. For me, I was somebody that was not like the most athletic, honestly. And so uh, I ran cross country and track and I was a distance runner. And so that is something that's just is year round. Um, my school, I went to Arlington, just like shout out Eagles. Uh, we were very committed to having just like a really high quality program. And so it meant all year round. I think we took four weeks off a year where we would have 
have time off from running and that sort of a thing, but our coaches were constantly giving us opportunities to get together to run and that sort of a thing. And honestly, within that context, if I had not made the decision, I didn't go to True Life, I didn't go to BCA, I grew up in a different church, but if I had not made the decision that I was like, I'm going to value my faith and my commitment to my faith community over my sport, it would have been all year round that I was struggling to make it to church and to make an investment into my faith. And you know what? For me personally, like I went through a really hard season my sophomore and into junior year of high school where just honestly, I was not being considerate of others. I was not loving others well. I was just honestly not living for the Lord very well, but I was still in church. I had still made a commitment to that rhythm. And even when I was not living a way that honored God, that commitment to being at church with my youth group, with my youth ministry, it helped me to where when I was ready to recommit saying, God, I actually do want to stay committed to this, I was in a space that I could make that decision. And so I just want to encourage you, this whole conversation, sports are great. For me, running like the fun run that we did a couple weeks ago with the Adventure of the Lumberjack, like that was an amazing time. That was a great thing to do. I still love running. I still love sports. It is still something I enjoy, but I love Jesus a whole lot. And all of us would say our faith is the thing that has still to this day remained with us. And there'll be a time where you can't do sports anymore. And there could be an argument then that it's like, well, then I should really jump in all in for it now. But you need to invest in the thing that's going to be there forever. Make that commitment to your faith. Still be committed to what you guys say yes to. But also make sure that it's not then compromising on your commitment to Jesus. And so do you guys have any last minute thoughts you want to share on this? I think it goes very well said. It goes very very well said, yeah. Cool. Well, with that being said, then, you guys, we are going to exit the layer. We're going to finish off this episode. We just want to say thanks for checking it out. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to comment any thoughts you guys might have on this. Trevin. Two comments. You better. If somebody's watching this and Trevin hasn't commented, save his butt and text it to him. But we just want to say thanks for checking this out, you guys. We will see you next time in the layer. Deuces. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.